Kubo and the two strings. <laughs> So if you have the chance, go into this movie blind. Don't read anything about it. You'll thank me later. I did see the trailers for Kubo, but I didn't think much of it. Uh, so basically all I knew before I saw the movie was that there was a kid with a sword and also a talking monkey. That's it. And that made for a great movie going experience because I didn't know anything about Kubo and it just happened to have everything. It had action, it had adventure, it had mystery, it had some fantastic characters, it had heart. It was, also, it was also pretty funny, too. It had some very well-placed humor. Kubo is a stop-motion movie about a boy named... That's right, you guessed it. His name is Jeff. Just kidding. I gotcha. His name is, his name is actually Kubo. There's also a talking monkey and a beetle man. You know, a man that's a beetle. Kubo's going on this adventure to confront somebody that's uh, making his life hell. And in order to do that... He's got to get a couple things first. He's got to get this sword. He's got to get some armor. And then, and then he'll be able to pull off the thing that I'm being super vague about. The first thing I really noticed about this movie is that it looks fantastic. Everything's got its own unique texture. All the characters and environment all have this beautiful art style to it. It's very, it's very Far East inspired. Not only is the movie absolutely gorgeous, but it's filled with these great characters. They're all fleshed out. And as uh, far as good guys go... They were very likable. I was rooting for Kubo the entire time. I was like, yo, you go get him, Kubo. You you tell him. Kubo spends a lot of his adventure with this talking monkey voiced by Charlize Theron. She was great, but then they're joined up by a samurai beetle man voiced by Matthew McConaughey. And I kept giggling, and I was loving it, and apparently... That's all I ever wanted in life. I wanted Matthew McConaughey to voice a samurai beetle man. So we've got these three, they're going on their wild adventure and it was just it was just so much fun to see their different personalities bouncing off each other and seeing their relationships grow. I loved all the character moments this movie had. All the action and adventure, that was fantastic. That was fine and fun and awesome and all that good stuff, but it was really it was really the slower moments that brought things down and put meaning behind everything. It made you really did you really care about what was going on and what they were doing? Suicide Squad has nothing to do with Kubo in the two strings, but if Suicide Squad had half the character moments that this movie had, it would have been a way better movie. Because sometimes, you know, you just gotta let the characters breathe. You gotta let the audience grow attached to them. You gotta let the audience figure out who they are and learn to like them. And Kubo nailed that. The movie probably leans a little more towards being a movie for adults, but it's still totally cool for kids. It's really... It's really just a movie for everybody. I had so much fun with Kubo. It really just grabs your imagination and takes you on a ride. My only complaint, and it's a pretty small one, is the villain. I guess you really don't know a whole lot about him and why he does the things he does. Uh, to me anyway, his motivation didn't make a whole lot of sense. Maybe it just wasn't explained that well. I don't know. If you get the chance, go see Kubo in theaters. It's well worth the money. And it's always good to support movies like this. Movies. They do so many things right. You can tell it was made with a lot of love. It's just a very charming movie, and it's easily one of the best movies of the year. So in the end, I'm giving Kubo and the Two Strings 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I'm Jared Cook. What did you think of Kubo and the Two Strings if you've seen it? Tell me down below in the comments. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And see you. Bye.